That trip was sort of one of the first trips where I've actually gone out to an island on a boat specifically to go land-based fishing and been looking around on Google Earth and just seeing what's out there and uh, looking at marine charts and stuff as well and just seeing where the deep water meets an island and uh, had headlands facing in all different directions so thought a week on that island's going to provide so many different opportunities so I called up Adam and Aaron and got them keen on the idea too. I'm not really sure what how good boats are supposed to be but it was pretty much just like doing an hour long squat session. That's how we do um, CrossFit. <laughs> Taking the boat out there, um, set up camp, it was nice and sunny, nice and chilled at that stage. Yeah. And, uh, started fishing a few spots, fished a few of the obvious spots and what looked like the best spots. And they weren't necessarily the best spots by the end of the trip. Got a pretty crazy hit and a bit of a splash and commotion. Locked up the drag a bit and hooked into it. End up uh, being this long tom, which is just the longest thing I've ever seen. It was like a snake. Pretty interesting fish, like it was about a metre long and fully getting airborne. And yeah, when you get it in, you gotta watch out for those teeth it's got it's like got a beak about this long like a little alligator so. uh, when we woke up after our first sleep and first day woke up at sunrise it's such a pit picturesque like place it's so beautiful to wake up to yeah just love when we first get to a place the first day it's just like one of our favorite things is exploring the island and trying to work out which which spot looks like it has um, the best opportunities for the pelagics to come past and um, so with the current lines, deep water, two current lines meeting and stuff like that, rips, channels and um, and just bait hanging around and yeah so we did a hell of a lot of venturing the first day. What do you got? What is it? Had a couple of GT runs, got fully smoked by a couple of big GTs. I uh, couldn't see any hook on the heavy setup, which is always the way. It's all, always on your light setup to do this fish. Oh. I should have had my heavy setup, but I was pretty stoked because I had it on for a while. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, that was good. I thought it had a pretty good fight. I think I did pretty well, but yeah, eventually, just when it got back close to the reef, it got you. did the other deep run. Yeah. And Oh! So I was casting an x rap and um, hooked a pretty crazy little reef shark that was pretty feisty. Did you think it was a reef shark? Oh, on the first hit, I thought it was something good because it's right off the end of this headland, big wash line, and hit it pretty hard. Then mid-trip, we just got fully smashed by a huge thunderstorm. We just came back to camp, it's blown away, everything's soaked, that cab is dead. Pretty late in the afternoon, and swim out, and uh, me and Aaron had to readjust the anchor and um, change all the ropes and sort the boat out, because the boat was actually being washed up with the storm surge right up onto the beach, and uh, if it ended up up there, might never get it back in the water again so there's no choice but to take it way out and then swim back in the pretty sharky stormy water so that's pretty full on. Usually walk down to a ledge and I'm kind of like this is it I'm gonna fish this ledge but with a boat not that we like boat fishing but 
was pretty useful to have one in the sense that we just okay that spot's done and the fish have gone quiet let's go to a new spot and we pack everything up get up in the boat again and we'd seen this one headland from a distance and we just thought that looks really good looks like a really good spot so we headed out and this one there was no beach to land on so it was a bit of a skitzy way to get there we'd, I think I jumped off onto the rocks off the boat, yeah. passed everything across. And then you fellas went back out and had to swim in, anchor it, anchor it, and then swim, swim across. So it's a pretty cool way to, to get to a fishing spot. from really high up rock. We're actually fishing from right next to this huge eagle's nest which makes you think that is probably the best spot to actually sight cast from. It's where the, the eagle's spotting them, yeah. It's there so I can find fish. from next to this big eagle's nest and straight in front of these pots of tuna and we actually got a few hookups on the field. Just tweak it.